Today's Ask the Doctor segment is all about issues with your shoulder and rotator cuff. And we have Dr. Wayne Magoo here from Andrew Sports Medicine and Orthopedic Center. Thank you for being with us well, today. Thank you for having us. Yeah. We actually already have a couple callers on the line, so we're going to start with Ann and Leeds. Good afternoon, Ann. Hey, how are you today? Doing great. I'm doing great. What can I answer for you? Um, Dr. Magoo, I have had surgery three times on my rotator cuff surgery, the last one being very complicated. Um, as the doctor would start to put the uh, ligaments and tendons on the anchors, they would crumble. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm still having major issues with it, and I'm in a lot of pain. Uh, would shoulder replacement be an option to, for this? Yes, ma'am. Uh, unfortunately, when you've had multiple rotator cuff surgeries, often what happens is you run out of tissue to work with to repair. The rotator cuff is just simply a group of muscles that surround your shoulder. And, um, and when you've had multiple repairs, you run out of tissue to repair each time. And so if you've had multiple surgeries, like it sounds like you've had, then often the only option you have left is to have a, a shoulder replacement surgery. And there's a special type of shoulder replacement surgery called a reverse shoulder replacement placement that uh, would probably be a good option for you. So if that's something you'd have any interest in hear more about, then certainly you could come visit us in our clinic or, or look us up on our website. Um, I'll be happy to, to take care of you. We hope that helps, Ann. Our next caller is Doug in Norwood. Doug, good afternoon. Hi. Yeah, I'm calling from the Norwood area, and I was wondering, I heard you just talking about the tissue, but I was wondering, can the cuff itself get better without surgery? I mean, I've had a tear, and uh, sometimes it seems like if you move your shoulder in a certain direction, it'll catch, and it's just uh, a lot of pain. Sure. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, the, the rotator cuff, unfortunately, uh, doesn't have a lot of intrinsic uh, healing ability. Um, if you do have uh, a partial tear in your rotator cuff, there is maybe 10% of the time that people will be able to heal that. But um, the studies have shown, actually, that even if it doesn't heal, that if you undergo therapy and receive uh, cortisone injections and things like that, sometimes your symptoms will go away. So really, the only reason to have surgery is, this, is if you fail some sort of non-operative treatment. Um, and if you've gone through that treatment and you're still having problems, then certainly uh, repair would, would make sense. If you, if you haven't had those treatments, though, then I would go down that road to start with. All right, we hope that helps, Doug. Thanks, Dr. Magoo. Our next caller is um, Sherry. Sherry, good afternoon. Hey, Sherry. Good afternoon. What's your question? Well, I wanted to ask about the ADD arthritis, and I wanted to know what, can, what treatments are out there for the ADD arthritis. Uh, well, I'm not familiar with ADD arthritis. You may be talking about DJD arthritis, which just means degenerative joint disease. Uh, and that's, that's basically osteoarthritis, which is just kind of the progressive decline um, in, in the function of your shoulder due to loss of cartilage. Um, and, uh, you know, they're, they're just like I, I was speaking about in the last caller, there are certainly things you can try before you have surgery for that. Um, if the arthritis is pretty minimal, sometimes having surgery just to go in and do more or less a cleanup type surgery where you take care of some bone spurs and remove bursitis and things like that, that will be very helpful. Um, but uh, to start with, just a cortisone shot or physical therapy or some over-the-counter or prescription anti-inflammatory medicines can be very helpful. Um, if those things don't help and the, the arthritis is advanced to the point where you're basically bone on bone, then a shoulder replacement surgery might be your best option. All right, we hope that helps Sherry. And if we, let me ask if we have any more callers this afternoon. We have Kathy and Bessmer. Kathy, good afternoon. Go ahead, Kathy. Good afternoon, thank you very much. I'm sure. calling, I have uh, a severe pain in my arm mm -hmm. and in my shoulder. Uh, in particular, above the elbow, and right at the base of my neck on both sides. And I've been told that I have bursitis. Uh, I have had cortisone shots in the past mm -hmm. and that has alleviated the, the pain, um, um, you know, temporarily. Mm -hmm. right. And um, I've even been prescribed hydrocodone, which I don't like to take. Mm -hmm. okay. Are there any other measures that I can, anything else that I can use? 
Well, sure. I, I think that um, I think being cautious about taking the, the narcotic medicines is, is very wise of you. Um, those medicines do kind of numb the pain, but they don't treat the underlying problem. So typically, if you have something like bursitis, which is just inflammation of the tissues around your rotator cuff, then uh, being on something like a prescription anti-inflammatory medicine is going to be a lot better than being on a narcotic pain medicine. One thing that you talked about with pain going down in both arms, and, and one thing that people need to be aware of is that there's a lot of overlap with symptoms from um, a problem with your neck as opposed to a problem with your shoulder. And so it may be true that you have some bursitis and tendonitis in your shoulder, but sometimes those are just referred symptoms from a problem with your neck where you have arthritis in your, in your neck or you have a pinched nerve in your neck and it'll send pain down the shoulder through the arm and often it'll go through both arms. So that's something to be aware of. Um, but certainly, you know, if you haven't had an orthopedic uh, doctor evaluates you, I think that would, that would make sense just to try to get to the, the root of what's causing all your symptoms. We appreciate your call. We appreciate everyone's call today and thank you for being with us sure. today. Sure, happy to be here. Thank you. All right.